Okay, yeah, we quickly switch this. We have a MacBook Air, and description says it's a uh, low power. So this is an A1466 uh, Max F2, which is which indicates that this is from a 2012 and above, because that was when Max F2 was introduced on Max. Uh, the 2012, the, the Max F2 came into. Uh, uh, Apple introduced the Max F2 onto their Macs in 2012. So having uh, a MacBook Air with a Max F2 port indicates that it's a MacBook from 2012 to 2017. Okay. Uh, and in 2021, um, they then introduced 2021, 20, yeah, 2021, they then introduced the, the Max F3 ports. Uh, wait, 20, it's already 20, 20 what already? Time flies, eh? 2023, I'm just going to quickly confirm something. So the 14 inches, that was in 20, yeah, yeah, October 20, yeah. 2021, that was uh, when they then launched the... The 14 and 16 inches and then they had the max f3 with that okay so um this is a 2013 2014 and that we can tell because of our gta connector um uh, okay so it says no power let's see what we have we don't see signs of liquid on the board so it's safe for us it's uh that means it's safe to connect charger to it Charger is connected. We have charger communication. We don't have fan spin. Okay, let's quickly disconnect charger, disconnect the battery, try again. Charger is connected. We have charger communication. We don't have fan spin. Let's start by checking what we have on our PP bus line. We have def I mean, because we have um, LED on our charger, it means we have two things can be confirmed. We have PP3, P42 line. We have our PPDC in, which is the, the voltage that basically goes from the charger onto your machine. PP3, P42 is definitely being created. If that was not uh, created, we would not have this indication, the LED that we have on the charger right now. The next thing we want to say is we want to see if we have a PP bus, and then we build up from there. Let's say, do we have PP bus? PP bus, we can measure at the fuse here. Let's see what we have. 8.6 that's good 8.6 also tells us that um our smc is running at the level of the pp bus uh, if the smc wasn't running we should be having around about 8.2 8.3 but we have 8.6 that means our smc is uh, running at the level of uh, the pp bus okay so the next thing we want to do is want to quickly take our board out and uh, see why we do not have a working board Once the board is out, the, the, the next thing we will do is to see if we have, we do a vision inspection on the board. After that, we check for a short. After that, we go over the power sequence. Mm, that screw, it's not supposed to be there. That's a, that's a wrong screw. That's supposed to be here. So this is supposed to be here, and then that's supposed to be there. Mm, okay, this is supposed to be a screw here. That's missing. Uh, okay, our board is out. Let's do a visual inspection on the other side of the board. Get an idea. See if we have anything that stands out. Okay, so I see liquid 
and um, okay let's quickly open up the board view this uh, this is uh, an it is a 34 37 board we can also use the it is 000165 which is the 20 the 2015 2017 uh, board view um, this is a 2013 2014 we can use a 2015 2017 board view uh, and it's pretty much uh, we'll get pretty much uh, uh, the, the the same thing we want to do however let's open up the board view itself which is 34 37 uh, let's type that in it is 0 34 37 it is 0 34 37 why 34 37 okay that's the board now uh, we have corrosion in this section of the board uh, that's a critical section of the board uh, which is going to be the clock line uh, that is uh, ROTC ROTC reset L so we have corrosion on that section of the board and uh, what has what we see is affected is uh, the HDA reset L that's the sound uh, really not um, important but this is important C1303 is sitting on RTC underscore reset uh, line that is important and we see that we have corrosion on that section of the board so what we want to do is you want to first if, first thing first we want to see if we have a shot on that line first let's see if we have a shot on that line because of that cap that is not looking good okay we don't have a shot on that line that's fine let's just go ahead and replace uh, let's go ahead and replace the cap as well as the resistor that we that we uh, that we can see is not looking okay. Okay, so let's clean that section of the board. I forgot to type it again to buy. Huh? Yeah. Okay, let's get a donor board to replace those components.
Okay. Let's clean our board. Okay, uh, let's test to see if we have any difference in our board. <clears throat> okay, so you can see we now have fan spin. That's a good thing. So. This is a 2013-2014, so the fan is supposed to start, stop, start for the second time, stop, and then start for the third time and continue. So um, that is uh, what you will get on the 2013 and 2014 uh, MacBook Air board. Um, this is not going to be the case with the 2015 and 2017. And also, it's not going to be the case with the 2012, 2011. It's only 2013 and 2014 will you get a reaction like this is very good. Uh, this tells us that our board is starting. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to see if we have uh, if we have display on our screen. We hope we do. For that, we just need the screen connected. Nothing else. Okay, our board is connected, and there uh, we also have a screen connected. We have fine screen. Okay, we have the first fine screen. The first one, we're expecting uh, the second one. The second fine screen, and then the third one should take off. Second fine screen, and then the third one, now uh, it's going to take off. Okay, good. Now we should be expecting something on our screen. Yeah, that's it. That's an Apple logo. Uh, as you guys can see, that it's a successful repair. Okay, that's good. Uh, uh, just a quick recap on what, what, what we had to do. So this was a no power device and uh, we took the board out to see we did basic measurements before having to take the board out. And then um, on inspection, we saw corrosion at this section of the board. And what was affected primarily was uh, C1303. R1303 was partially affected and R1312. Now, for, for the purpose of this repair, um, C1303 and R1303 will really be important uh, uh, to, 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 to uh, the device powering on. So what we had to do was to replace C1303, R1303, and R1312, just because it's faulty, uh, even though it's not primarily, um, it's not primarily a reason why the machine would not have power on. So that is it, guys. As you can see, this is a complete repair. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.